Hey everybody, I'm Chris Beatty from Grower Talks Magazine, and this is... Ellen Wells, Green Profit. We're the bobbleheads, you know us. And uh, hey Ellen, did you notice there's something going on back here? Oh, hey! Yeah, that's a trade show. In fact, they're even serving ice cream right down there. But uh, this is the 2013 IGC show from Navy Pier, live from beautiful Chicago, Illinois. And what Ellen and I are going to be doing over the next couple of days is scouring the aisles for all the cool new items for your garden center, whether it be new varieties or pots or containers or fashion items or sustainable items. If it's cool and if it's new, we'll bring it to you. So you ready to go hit the, hit the uh, show floor? Yes. Right, yes. Let's do it. The very first thing I spotted at uh, the show this, this uh, year is this, I mean, how can you not spot this? Colorful, colorful artwork here. Uh, we are at Magnet Works. This is uh, it's a Studio M, which is a division of Magnet Works. And these are the painted piece art poles. They are made out of maintenance-free PVC, and uh, they're covered with this artwork. Um, it, the artwork's actually done by Stephanie Burgess and uh, it's, it's auto-grade vinyl. So it is uh, scratch and fade resistant. And you can put those in your garden borders, you can put them on your front porch, they're beautiful, great stuff. Hey Ellen, here's some fun stuff. Everybody needs little labels and tags in their garden and uh, you just looked at some nice ordinary ones, but come over here. This is Amaranth Stoneware. They've got some really fun little things. Uh, well, Nude Beach, Evil Lair. Look down here, Comic Latin. Plant them, why did I buy them? Herbaceous and vaceous. Mud is all over us. I like that. And um, there's even some that, well, my gosh, this is a little timely right now, I'm afraid, with the... Uh, some of the problems out in the garden, but that's uh, just a little bit of the fun stuff from Amaranth Stoneware. They're all made in Kingston, Ontario, Canada, and they're pretty reasonably priced, too. Oh my gosh, Chris, you are gonna love this. Here we are, we are at Oak Row, and uh, the, the sign says, World's Coolest Rain Gauge, and you know something? It is the world's coolest rain gauge. It's a floating rain gauge. Now, uh, come on over here and take a look at this. It is a uh, solid copper and uh, polycarbonate tube. And look, it's, it's like a reverse rain gauge. So the more water that goes in, it's, oh, there, it's, it's rain an inch. How cool is that? Made in the USA. And there's ones that are on stakes. You can have them for tabletops or uh, also ones that fit on fences. That's the world's coolest rain gauge. And that's no joke. Hey Ellen, isn't this the coolest big pinwheel you've ever seen? I am at Whirly Gig World, and uh, they make Whirly Gigs and other what they call life-size metal kinetic wind art. And that's the key, life-size. This stuff is big. Look at the scale of these. They do a pinwheel that's up to six feet in diameter if you want it. These are all made in America, North Carolina. They're steel, they're uh, powder coated, They've used sealed bearings and stainless steel hardware. They'll last forever. That's Whirly Gig World. Okay, folks, look what we have here. We are at Garden Things, and Dolly from Garden Things is always coming up with some really cool ideas. Her One of her latest ideas is this um, uh, pockets. They are called Dressy Pot. This is a Dressy Pot for a five-gallon bucket. So you take an empty uh, five-gallon bucket, pickle jar, whatever, and uh, you drape, actually, Jen, look, look over here. You just insert it right over the bucket, turn it, up, turn it under, plant it up with soil. And the great thing about this fabric is it uh, drains very easily and the soil doesn't come out. And they come for tree wraps as well and also individual little uh, pockets. And that is from Garden Things. What am I? Hey, Ellen. Do you know what this is? This little guy right here, made out of terracotta, kind of gourd shaped, is an Oya. That's O-L-L-A. And it's actually sort of a, an ancient device that'll water your garden. Here's one buried right here. Holds about two gallons of water. And we're told that because it's terracotta unglazed, the water will seep out and water roughly a little kind of a three foot uh, area in the garden, just like this. 
Very cool. What else can you use it for, though? Well, because it's, it uh, evaporates, you can actually keep water in this, drinking water, on your patio and scoop out bits of water that way, just like that. It's got a nice terracotta lid. Wholesale cost is somewhere between $16 and $18 each. And this is a really cool item for those patio gardeners who are looking for something a little bit different. Hey, Chris, you ever wonder what happens to all that food that's left behind at a buffet table? Did you know that nearly 40% of all food goes uneaten in this country? It's filling up landfills. So, some guys decided to start a company called Eco Scraps. They collect uh, food that's left behind, restaurants and buffets and so forth, and they compost it. And they have a line, it's called Eco Scraps, compost mix and potting mix. We've got uh, potting media garden soil, lots of stuff here, and you know, it's a, it's a feel-good story. Now this is cool. We've seen a lot of this painted aged metal here at IGC, and this is some of the best example. It's from thinkoutside.biz, and hey, they've gotten useful with it. Beer coolers, and I especially like this one right here. It's an old oil drum look. Ice on the top. Look under here, a little secret tray for your your wine stash. Keep it away from the uh, hoodlums there. And the lid slides over to become a tray. There's your old VW bus. Nice stuff from Think Outside. Chris, check this out. This is for your small space urban gardener. It is a hydroponic system to grow herbs and such on your countertop. It's uh, Counterculture. Uh, Modern Sprout is the company name. And we've got um, a reservoir up in, in the bottom and uh, you can put your plants right in there. And check out the sides here. This is where all the control happens, right in there. And what's really cool, this is the chalkboard finish. Check that out. So you can label what you have in there. The cool thing about this company, um, they got started with a crowdsourcing, uh, basically on Kickstarter. They raised $77,000 to start this company, and they started in April, and here they are at IGC. Good luck to them. This is from the, why didn't I think of that department, Ellen? It's the Handy Camel Bag Clip. You know about putting clips on a bag of potato chips? Well, this is one of those on steroids for, well, everything. Charcoal, you know I've got that around. Fertilizer, how about dog or cat food? Anything in bulk. And here's something else you can do. The lovely Amy, uh, AKA Carol Merrill, is going to demonstrate how easy it is to clip on and turn it into a convenient pouring spout. It's uh, made in the good old US of A, in St. Louis, Missouri, and it's Kansas City, Missouri, and it's just $14.95 retail. That's the Handy Camel Bag Clip. Hey Chris, here's some more metal for you. This is Desert Steel, and check it out. You got a palm tree, you've got cactus, you got a little pumpkin down there all made in the USA. In fact, I think it's made in Kansas. Love the tiki torches. Join the growing revolution with Growstone. What is Growstone? Well, there's a lot of interesting soil and potting media amendments out there. And here's another one. But the cool thing about it, look at it down here. Looks like rocks, super lightweight, ultra porous. And what is it made from? We'll pan over to the left, Gen Z, and I'll show you. Right here, ground up bottles from the landfill. In fact, they make it right at the landfill in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And the result is, well, the lovely Amy Donahue is going to show us an ultra porous stone material. Watch this, suck it right up like a sponge. So it holds just the right amount of water for your plants. Mix it in your potting soil or in your garden beds and you get perfect growing conditions, it holds water, your plants will love it, and you're taking bottles out of the landfill. It's a win-win-win-win, win-win-win, I think. That's, we th they think so, it's Growstone. Hey everybody, look who I found. Ellen Wells, who has magically become an expert on this next new item called... Root cup. Well, what we have here is a little uh, cup, and it's made out of a, like a proprietary material. Uh, it's silica-based. 
And what you do is you fill it up with water, uh, put a little cutting in there, pop, pop the top on. So the top covers up the water, uh, encourages light, I'm sorry, encourages root growth, and it blocks light from getting in there and causing algae and all so, that So stuff. this would be great like in a windowsill for, for rooting herbs, flowers, uh, African violets, all those kinds Absolutely. of things. Absolutely. Speaking of African violets, what we have over here is an African violet version of it, like an African violet pot. And I would guess that, that there the are three colors and two sizes. Three colors, two sizes. That is correct, Beautiful. Sir. That is the root cup, all lowercase. That way you know it's trendy. Rootcup.com.